Hello everyone and welcome back to On The Spot STEM. So today we're going to be doing 2019 AMC 10A Problem 20, which is the same as 2019 AMC 12A Problem 16. So the problem reads, the numbers 1, 2, all the way to 9 are randomly placed into the 9 squares of a 3x3 three three grid. Each square gets one number and each of the numbers is used once. What is the probability that the sum of the numbers in each row and each column is odd? So, since we're only considering if the sum is odd or not, we just want to see what the parity of each of the numbers are, which basically means if the number is odd or even. There are five numbers that are odd, so let's just say that there are five O's that we can fit in this grid down here. And there are four even numbers, because th those are just two, four, six, and eight. We don't care about the even numbers because they don't affect if a, the sum of the numbers is even or odd. We only care about where the odd numbers go. So let's see what possibilities of how we can fit the, the number of odd numbers in each row can be. So we can't have zero odds in one row because that would be an even number of odds. And we want an odd number of odds in order to have the sum to be an odd number. So that means the minimum number of odds a row can have is 1. And the maximum number of odds a row can have is just 3. So we just want to see if we can make 5 with the numbers 1 and 3, with 3 numbers total. And that's possible by doing 1, 1, and 3. So this must be the distribution of the odd numbers in each of the rows. So let's just say there's 1 odd in this row, 3 odds in this row, and 1 odd in that row. So what that means is that there must be three odds in this row. There's only one way to do that. And well, we don't know how we should position the other zeros yet. So let's see what we can do with the columns. Well, the columns is just the same thing. There must be one column with three odds and the other two columns must each have one odd. So again, let's just set this row, this column to have three odds this one to have 1, and this one to have 1. Well, that means that it must go here. And we can see that this grid already satisfies our conditions. Each column has an odd number of odd numbers, and each row has an odd number of odd numbers. And this satisfies this. And what you also know is that if we look at only this square right here, the one that's circled, we can see that this configuration is obtained by taking all the grids in the same column and the same row. So that means, since there are nine total squares, there are nine possibilities to order the odds such that they have an odd number in each row and an odd number in each column. So that means there are nine ways for us to have an odd number of odds in each row and column. Now how many total ways are there to arrange the odds and evens? Well, there are nine total squares and there are five odds to choose from. So that's simply just nine choose five. But wait, we're not done yet because when we found nine and nine choose five, we assumed that each of the odds and each of the evens were indistinguishable, meaning that one was the same as three, three is the same as five, five, the, five is the same as seven, and so on. So. What we need to do is multiply by 4 factorial for the number of ways we can reorder the evens, and we have to multiply by 5 factorial for the number of ways we can rearrange for odds. But since we must do this for the numerator and the denominator, it cancels out, which means that we're just left with 9 over 9 choose 5. So let's evaluate this fraction. Well, we just get 9 over 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, we can see that this 3, 2, 1 cancels out with this 6, this 5 cancels out with this 5, this 9 cancels out with this 9, this 8 and the 4 results in a 2 here, and the only factors left are the, a 1 on the top and a 14 on the bottom, which means that in one out of 14 of all the cases, this problem statement is satisfied. So looking back at this, what's the probability that the sum of the numbers in each row and each column is odd? 
well that's just one out of 14 because randomly speaking there'd be one in 14 chance to choose one that fits so the answer is just b and we're done thank you for watching and make sure to like and subscribe for more quality videos